Hi Libra, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your August general reading, again for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I love y'all so much. I hope you're doing well. Sending y'all so much gratitude for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, sweet comments, all the things. Y'all know I love you, so thank you. As we always do, Libra, right after this general reading, I do your love reading, which is the extended. If you want to check that out, it's the first link in the description box below. And let's get right into it. All right, what's going on with Libra for August? We're going to free flow, freestyle today. We've got three more. Spirit, what's going on with Libra? Libra, August. What do they need to know for August? This is for Libra. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. All right, y'all, we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful energy, it's water energy. Some of you could be connecting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a wish fulfillment, dreams come true. In this deck, I love it. It's the only one and only Nine of Cups that I've ever seen with two people in it. Um, so I feel like, and by, right behind that is the Five of Swords. So I feel like after some time, after some distance, after some separation, whatever, there's a wish coming in, two people coming together, friends, lovers, partners, whatever. There's something great coming in for you. I love it. Let's see what this is for Libra. Nice. We have the Princess of Pentacles, Younger Earth Energy, possible Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Spirit, what is going on with Libra? King of Cups in reverse. He was in your pre-shuffle. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Five of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. We are talking about your partner, your romantic partner. Um, they don't have to be a water sign. I know you're not a water sign, but we have the King and Queen of Cups. In between is the Five of Cups, like I, like I said. Okay, um, there's been some, you know, shedding some tears, some loss, some hurt feelings, okay? That does still need to be... Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let's keep going. I'm gonna get a couple more cards out and then we'll talk about it, okay? Spirit, what else is going on with Libra in August? Four of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Can y'all still see that? You can, okay. So this wish is coming in. So I feel like with this Four of Pentacles is talking about the home, like coming back together, there's a man, woman, even if, if this is about love, even if you're in the same sex relationship, this is union, this is structure, this is talking it out and working on things. Okay, so I feel like this page of pentacles, it could represent children for some of you, they don't have to be an earth sign, um, but this is very practical energy leading up to the wish that you're receiving here. And with the eight of pentacles, I feel like, um, I feel like for both of you, you had to kind of release and surrender in a way to whatever has happened in the past with this five of cups, disappointment, loss, getting on each other's nerves, whatever that is, because it put both of you in a not great emotional um, energy, if you will. But this is very divine. This is very much your counterpart, your person, however you want to say it. Again, there's two people here, a queen and king of cup, um, the divine masculine, divine feminine, trying to work it out, trying to come back together with the four of pentacles. See how they're, um, they're, they're in the same room. They're, I feel like they're trying to have a conversation. There's still some hurt feelings in this energy, okay? So there's still, um, but I feel like with this page of pentacles, this is researching, trying, putting one foot in front of the other, trying to really work, work on something and being practical. So there's a very beautiful starting practical energy to kind of 
fixing something here, fixing a connection with somebody, someone that you love and care about so, 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 so much. Yes, we have the Wheel of Fortune under the Princess of Pentacles. I feel like you're taking a much more practical approach in this friendship, in this relationship, in this career, whatever this other half of you is representing right now. The Eight of Cups um, keep showing up in reverse. I feel like for one of the two of you, or maybe both of you, y'all were feeling in the past, this isn't enough. This isn't filling my cup. This isn't making me as happy as I thought it was. Okay, so I feel like that's what needs to be talked about. Three of swords in reverse. Someone hurt the other person, okay? You were really hurt by someone, Libra, or they were hurt by you. It could be vice versa under the king of cups. Very emotional energy. Beautiful. Seven of pentacles under the five of cups. Through the energy of letting bygones be bygones, letting, you know, the past be the past, um, not crying over spilled milk, five of cups. Because the beautiful thing about the five of cups is three are spilled over, those were in the past, yes, they hurt, yes, it was a breakup, yes, it was a loss, yes, it was hurt feelings, whatever it was here, but with the seven of pentacles under that and with the five of cups, two are still up. Um, actually, in this deck, they're all down. So it almost like it's almost again that confirms the eight of cups for me on you really, really thought that this connection wouldn't come back together. Like y'all maybe thought something was completely gone, dead in the water. Like this is never gonna resurface again, if you will. But through the release, through continuing to let go, let go, let go, seven of pentacles happens, planning for the future planning a new seat of intention with a princess or page of pentacles energy, which is a new beginning, freshness, a new idea, practical energy, maybe not rushing it, okay? Maybe taking it slow because we also have the 10 of pentacles under the queen of cups and the three of cups in reverse. So for a group of you, because they look, they look, you know, a little bit, irritated with each other we'll just say that like someone's in trouble here with the other person with their partner whoever three of pentacles is in reverse for a lot of you three of swords five of cups in reverse three of cups there could have been a third party on someone's part okay if it was flirting if it was a new friend if it was whatever i feel an, a little bit of jealousy came in and you were like i'm leaving this person i'm never going to have anything to do with them again but again, through five of cups, three of, of swords, both in reverse, healing is needed, healing is happening. There's positive change. The universe is spinning things, this situation into your favor. It's in the upright. And we also, again, have the nine of cups, your wish. It's like you sent that wish out into the universe of like, why does my person have to talk to them? I want them to come back to me. Or that could have been vice versa energy and it worked and it, they came right back. <laughs> um, so beautiful, beautiful energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, which is card of Aries, divine masculine energy. So yeah, and the star card and the moon. So very, very, very beautiful, deep emotional energy. I feel like with the moon card, we are upon an Aquarius full moon in a couple of days. I feel like a lot of this final releasing, like we're talking about the five of cups, three of swords, that pain. We have two beautiful loving people in reverse, which is just saying their emotions are just ugh, all over the place. Because, and that's okay. I'm a water sign. No, like are, if you're talking about crying, you're preaching to the choir here. Do not feel bad about that. Um, but you know, you got to let it go. And if you haven't really fully let something go from this connection or whatever's happened here, the full moon is a great, great way to do that, to write it down, to let it go, to have that conversation. Um, I would maybe do it a couple days after the full moon because it, um, energies are still very intense during a full moon, but you also have the energy with the full moon of the star card and the emperor, Aquarius, Aries energy, very, very 
confident, like I got this, I can do this, I feel like I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, I feel like this can work out, and I do wanna mention you have two of the Make-A-Wish, Wish Fulfillment cards here with the Emperor of like, you have risen from the ashes, you have learned your lessons, Libra, or your other person has learned their lessons, probably a little bit of both, and now you're ready to properly hit Princess of Pentacles, and practically, properly and practically come back together with this person, with this energy, with this union. So very, very, very beautiful energy here. Thank y'all so much for being here. I'm sending out lots of love. And um, if you want to do the love reading, where we look at the other person you're dealing with in love right now, how do they feel towards you? Where is y'all's relationship going? Um, I'm using some oracles and some other stuff. So if you want to do that one, just click the link below. Otherwise, have a beautiful August Libra, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.